But Hagrid, there must be a mistake. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Harry Potter movie mistakes spotted by the fans. You know, the very first time I saw you, Harry, I recognized you immediately. Not by your scar, by your eyes. They're your mother, Lily's. For this list, we'll be going over the gaps, plot holes, and other errors from the Harry Potter films. We won't be including mistakes from the Fantastic Beasts films, like McGonagall appearing before she's born, as those have a list of their own. If there's a wizarding mistake we forgot, be our remember all and remind us in the comments. Number 10. The Disappearing Sideburns – Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone Harry Potter. Can't tell you how pleased I am to meet you. Professor Quirrell is an easy character to overlook, given his rather timid nature. Then again, the Dark Lord is literally poking out the back of his head, so maybe he has a reason to be reserved. Harry Potter, we meet again. Either way, some observant students of the series have spotted a mistake with Quirrell's appearance. While actor Ian Hart's sideburns are visible just beneath his turban throughout most of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the final confrontation sees Quirrell without any noticeable sideburns. In fact, he is completely bald. Maybe Voldemort evened him out? Number 9. The T is Silent – Harry Potter Franchise Voldemort is a name many wizards are afraid to say. Because her love was more powerful than Voldemort. Don't say his name. I'm not afraid of the name, Professor. The taboo around saying his name plays a big role in the series, and Harry, who wasn't raised to fear it, illustrates his bravery by refusing to use the euphemism, you know who. However, everyone in the films, and most people in real life, have been saying the infamous name incorrectly. We believe. Voldemort may be after something. The French word for death is mort, which is where the second half of Voldy's name comes from. The book's author also acknowledged being possibly the only person who pronounces it that way. Voldemort. His name was... Maybe she wrote it down. No, I can't spell it. Number 8. Harry Swaps Seats – Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone Harry's first night at Hogwarts is a memorable one. It begins with being sorted into Gryffindor and chowing down on a magically appearing feast. However, looking closely at the scene reveals that Harry may have started early on his apparition training, even if it is impossible inside Hogwarts. After being sorted, Harry sits next to Ron. However, when the feast begins, he's instead seated between Hermione and Percy. While it's certainly possible that he got up and walked around to the other side of the huge table, that does seem like a long way to trek in order to sit away from the boy he just became friends with. I'm Ron, by the way. Ron Weasley. I'm Harry. Harry Potter. Number 7. The Camera in the Dueling Club – Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Expelliarmus. The Dueling Club is only held once, but it's an important event in the story, both for introducing Harry to his favorite spell, but also for exposing him as a parcel tongue to the rest of the school. But the event is also notable for having a relatively prominent error. <laughs> After Harry and Draco Malfoy's duel, a cameraman is visible in the crowd during one of the shots. No, it's not Colin Creevy, though that would be a nice way to justify the blunder. It's also possible Gilderoy Lockhart was followed by the paparazzi, but a simple mistake on the part of the film crew seems more likely. Number 6. Snape's Faulty Memories – Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 one of the biggest revelations in the franchise is the friendship between Professor Snape and Harry's mother Lily, and Snape's one-sided feelings. She's ordinary, and you're special. That's mean, Severus. The final film delves into this following Snape's death by having Harry view his teacher's memories posthumously. However, these flashbacks contain some continuity errors. For example, Snape has the memory of Lily comforting Harry before her death, but he shouldn't actually have been around to see it, since he only found her after it was too late. Harry, you are so loved. So loved. Harry, Mama loves you. Dada loves you. 
Even if you give the filmmakers a pass and claim it was for context, there's no excuse for Lily's sudden change in wardrobe. Before her death, she's wearing a red sweater. But after it, when Snape cradles her body, she's wearing a blue top. Did Voldemort hate Gryffindor colors that much? <laughs> Number 5. Expelliarmus How does that work? Harry Potter franchise Harry's signature spell is arguably the disarming charm, with the famous incantation of Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. <laughs> It does just what it's named for, disarming one's opponent. However, it rarely seems to stop at nearly that. While the spell is only supposed to send the opponent's wand flying out of their hand and sometimes into the casters, it's frequently shown blasting opponents off their feet. There is some precedence for this in the books, with enough power put into it knocking people off their feet. <laughs> However, it occurs far more frequently in the movies. Even within the same scene, the spell is inconsistent. Come on, come on, Peter! Come on, come on and play! <laughs> we suspect they replaced other spells with it. Expelliarmus! And we get it. Expelliarmus is fun to say. Number 4. Harry Never Fixes His Wand Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 during the first Deathly Hallows film, Harry's wand is broken during a fight with Voldemort. It's also seemingly tossed away by a snatcher. What's your name? Dudley. Vernon Dudley. Check it. This perfectly aligns with what happens in the books. By the end of the eighth movie, Harry decides to snap the Elder Wand, which he has won ownership over. But the books see him use the powerful instrument to repair his own wand. In contrast, the fate of his wand in the films is never clarified. Did he need to get a new one? Or did he find some other miraculous way to restore his old wand? We'll probably never know. Number 3. Harry's Eyes – Harry Potter Franchise but You look so like your father. Except your eyes. Yeah, have my mother's eyes. Throughout the Harry Potter story, we're told again and again that although Harry strongly resembles his father James, he has his mother's eyes. You look very like your father. Except the eyes, of course. You have your my mother's eyes, yeah. Despite them not being green like they are in the book, that's not the mistake that fans have spotted. It's actually the fact that Harry's eyes don't resemble his mother's at all. While some of the actresses to portray Lily Potter do have eyes similar to Daniel Radcliffe's, the youngest actress to play the character has brown eyes, which is a pretty far cry from Radcliffe's blues. Granted, eye color can sometimes change with age, but given how much of a plot point the similarity is, you'd think they'd have given her contacts at least. Okay. You have your mother's eyes. Number 2. Dumbledore Asked Calmly – Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire In the fourth book, Harry's name is drawn out of the Goblet of Fire, indicating he must participate in the Triwizard Tournament. Harry Potter. Harry Potter! Upon discovery, Dumbledore, cool as a cucumber, asks Harry if he put his name in it, accepts his answer is no, then moves on. The film took a different approach. Harry, you put your name in the cupboard of the fire. No, sir. You asked one of the oldest students to do it for you? No, sir. You're absolutely sure? Yes. yes, sir. Dumbledore's wild, accusatory questioning of Harry has been frequently deemed incredibly out of character and a hilariously overt example of the movies deviating from the source material. Despite being a relatively minor moment, this book-to-movie alteration has blown up into one of the biggest Harry Potter memes. Potter is a boy, not a piece of meat. I agree. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The Hidden Microphones – Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban Despite efforts to hide them, several can be seen beneath the actor's clothes. Okay, go, go. Get off. The Shifting Towel – Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire While drying off after the second task, Harry's towel is passed between him and Hermione. Next to last, Flan have got past the grandy loves. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Polyjuice Potion Doesn't Work Like That – Harry Potter Franchise One of the most recurring mistakes in the series involves the Polyjuice Potion. By drinking this concoction, one can take on the appearance and voice of anyone whose hair is used as part of its creation. At least, that's how it's supposed to work. In the films, the potion seems to only change the drinker's appearance and not their voice. We still sound like ourselves. You need to sound more like crab. Uh, bloody hell. Excellent. The only exception occurs when Barty Crouch Jr. impersonates Mad-Eye Moody. Do you know who I am? Are you Alistair Moody? Are you? No. In that case, his identity is meant to come as a surprise, so apparently this potion works according to how the plot needs it to. Ron, it's me. Harry. Blimey, I forgot what you look like. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.